Next week's measure-wide quake drill is meant to prepare both government and the private sector for what's said to be the big one. As Jackie Pasquale tells us, the public can learn more about other disasters and the technologies available in disaster management at the Science and Technology Week exhibit. Tropical, depression, tropical storm, severe tropical storm, typhoon at these students are learning about weather and disaster preparedness at the Science and Technology Week at the SMX Convention Hall in Pasay City. One of the highlights of the event is the section dedicated to new technologies in disaster management. Weather Bureau Pagasa showcases models of its new equipment and data system, as well as a portable planetarium. Visitors can also see a sample of a tsunami wave at the exhibit. FIVOX, meanwhile, presents the West Valley Fault System Atlas, informing students about fault lines and what to do during earthquakes. What better way to do this than making the public feel how an earthquake actually feels like via the shaking table? Science and Technology Secretary Mario Montejo says preparing students early about disasters can be a lifesaver someday. Minsan, sa madalas na rin, yung yung dahan-dahan na impact of because of climate change is also might contribute or would be as disastrous as catastrophic. Montejo reveals a so-called supercomputer will come in next year to better forecast weather patterns and other information in detail. But even without the computer, Montejo says, believe it or not, Pagasa and Fivox have one of the most advanced technologies in Asia. We are now able to be able to monitor kung mayroon talaga movement ang structures or building. Ini-integrate mo other data set with other data set. Sabi nga natin, weather information, climate change scenario, overlay with uh, land maps. Ang lalabas, new products, new knowledge. Montejo is hopeful students will learn more about disaster preparedness from the five-day science and technology event. But aside from that, there are many other projects and innovations in such fields as robotics, agriculture, information technology, and transportation that are all proudly Filipino-made. Jackie Pascual, ABS-CBN News. Good to see that something